Jim Wise is still acting and writing. Coach Tubnut was often a target of Louise Tomfoolery, but it's hard to imagine even Stevens without Jim Wise's hilarious recurring role. Wise has had a long career both before and after even Stevens, mostly in character roles. He is also an established television writer, with credits ranging from The Arsenio Hall Show and The Tonight Show to SNL and MADTV. For the latter, Wise won a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Music and Lyrics. He is one of the writers of the 2018 Carol Burnett series, A Little Help with Carol Burnett. Ty Hodges has added director, writer, and producer to his resume. Larry was Ren's nemesis, and many episodes featured the two squaring off against each other in one shenanigan or another. Ty Hodges, who played Larry, still stays busy in Hollywood. He's had roles in a few movies and television shows, but has also turned his attentions to directing and writing. He wrote, produced, directed, and starred in the 2006 movie Miles From Home, and he directed a made-for-TV biopic of Bobby Christina Brown in 2017. Hodges is active on social media and lives in the Los Angeles area. Gary Leroy Gray continues to act. Gary Leroy Gray was a busy child actor when he nabbed the role of Ren's allergy-prone pal, Nelson. Interestingly, he played another character named Nelson on The Cosby Show. In the years since even Stevens' cancellation, Gray has attended Pierce College and UCLA and has continued to act. His credits include a supporting performance in the movie Blackbird and a principal role in the 2018 TV series Fly. He lives in the Los Angeles area. Lauren Frost acts, sings, writes, and produces. As the boy crazy Ruby Mendel on Even Stevens, Lauren Frost portrayed Ren's gossipy but devoted best friend. Frost hasn't done much high-profile acting work since her role as Ruby, appearing in just a few TV and short film projects. According to her website, she graduated from the Upright Citizens Brigade and Second City and writes and produces in addition to acting. Frost is also an accomplished singer and has performed with Barbara Streisand. She lives in Los Angeles. Margot Harshman is on NCIS. Ah, Tawny. Louis' other best friend. A goth girl who eventually became more than a friend. Margot Harshman maintains an active acting career, mostly in character roles on television. One of her most prominent was a four-episode stint as Sheldon's assistant on The Big Bang Theory. Since 2013, she has had a recurring role on NCIS, where she plays a Department of Defense employee who dates and later marries Special Agent Timothy McGee. Harshman lives in Los Angeles. Troth stays out of the limelight. Troth was Louis's best friend Twitty, generally the more level-headed and less awkward of the two. That didn't stop Louis and Twitty from getting into heaps of trouble, however. Troth maintains a fairly low profile today. He has had a handful of TV and movie credits since Even Stevens, as well as some video game roles. Troth is married to actress Lee Pipes, and some sources say they currently live in Minerva, Ohio. Donna Pescal is on The Flash. Matriarch Eileen Stevens was, in a way, unlike any other TV mom before or since, she was a politician, and many even Stevens storylines featured her work as a public servant. Donna Pescal was a memorable Eileen, and in the years since the show's departure, 
She has kept acting, mostly in the theater. Pescow is also well known from her principal role in Saturday Night Fever, and she often speaks about her experiences working on the classic film. In 2017, Pescow started a recurring role on The Flash. She is married with one child and lives in Los Angeles. Tom Virtue is still acting. An eccentric attorney with a heart of gold, patriarch Steve Stevens was one of the linchpins of the even Stevens family. Tom Virtue, who played Steve, has had a long career as a character actor in both television and film. From the secret life of the American teenager to Iron Man 3, from The Office to This Is Us, Virtue is a familiar face on screens large and small. He has also popped up in a recurring, uncredited role on Conan. Virtue is married and the father of four children. Nick Spano became an acting teacher. As the harebrained, self-centered Jock Donny, Nick Spano was a scene-stealing riot on Even Stevens. After the show went off the air, Spano continued to act, mostly in guest spots on various television series. He hasn't appeared in anything since 2011, but his career has taken a turn toward the academic. He is now an acting teacher and has been involved in establishing both a yoga community and a farmer's market organization in Southern California. Spano is single and lives in the Los Angeles area. Steve and Anthony Lawrence acts sporadically. Who could ever forget the Stevens exasperating next door neighbor kid, Means? Means was constantly insinuating himself into Louis's adventures, all while nursing an obsession with bacon. Stephen Anthony Lawrence, who portrayed Beans so memorably, has acted on and off since even Stevens went off the air. His credits include a guest starring role on Weeds, several short films and commercials. In 2015, he was spotted working as a Santa's helper at a Northern California mall. Christy Carlson Romano went to Broadway. Christy Carlson Romano started on the stage, and after she landed the role of brainy adolescent Ren Stevens on Even Stevens, she had the distinction of starring in three Disney Channel projects at once Even Stevens, Cadet Kelly, and Kim Possible. For her work as Ren, she won two Young Artist Awards. Romano has had a surprisingly rich and varied career since Disney faded into the rearview. She graduated from Barnard College, appeared in several movies and TV shows, and starred on Broadway in shows like Beauty and the Beast and Avenue Q. Married and the parent of a young daughter, Romano is also a published author Grace's Turn and audiobook narrator. Or Christy Carlson Romano 22 of 26 Disney Channel original movie stars. Sheila Bainth kept acting and caused controversy. As a result of Even Stevens, Sheila Bainth became a household name. He portrayed the unforgettable Louis Stevens, a bratty but lovable underachiever whose exploits were often the focus of the show. In the years since Even Stevens, Labeyouf has risen to superstardom, starring in such big-budget movies as the Transformers films, Indiana Jones, and The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps. He is also no stranger to controversy. He's had run-ins with the law, given bizarre interviews to the press, and taken part in several performance art projects. Labeyouf has also refused to shower. The star is a byproduct of the machine age. He once said, a relic of modernist ideals, it's outmoded. 
So you will be returning the million you've made as a star. Shia or Shia Labiv, 18 small but fascinating details that fans have found about Shia Labiv. Movies 193 of 264 The Best Male Actors Working Today 517 of 1017 The Best Actors in Film History. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care! Bye!